Hi guys, um, <clears throat> this is a 6.5 injection pump and I'm just uh, showing how to set up the pump with a heater block. I just finished this heater block, as you can see there is uh, six glow plugs in there. Each glow plug takes up uh, <clears throat> about 13 amps, so six times uh, 13 is 78 the so this block is capable of drawing 78 amps from your batteries but that's a lot so <clears throat> uh, to run this thing you need two 40 amp relays and each relay can uh, run three glow plugs okay that's why I'm using six because two relays can run it uh, for example, seven would be too much. I would have to use a third relay, and um, but anyway, um, it works fine with six glow plugs. The heat up time is about two minutes. So with this thing on there, <clears throat> it takes two minutes to bring the whole pump up to a hundred degrees. And once the pump reaches a hundred degrees, um, it is safe to start on hundred percent veggie that's the purpose of the um, heater block so I, I used to make the heater block out of steel but uh, I found out that uh, aluminum is much better because it's number one it's easier to work with uh, easier to drill it and and make taps in it uh, threads in it so <clears throat> So I've been using aluminum for a couple of years now and it works great. I have it on my Suburban, I have it on my uh, pickup truck and uh, this this hole is for the temperature sending unit. That's a 1-8 uh, pipe thread. So a standard temperature sending unit can fit in there and then you can have a gauge telling you the pump temperature. So, I'm just making this video so it's easy for you guys to understand what's going on here and to see how easy it is. It's only four screws. You put it on with four screws, that's the place where the PMD used to be. And as you know, it's uh, much better to put the PMD uh, somewhere else, not on the pump because uh, it tend to overheat so uh, luckily that gives us this really nice uh, flat surface to transfer all that heat to the pump so as I said it takes about two minutes and then you can start the engine and your pump is protected and everything's cool okay so that's all, that's all I have on, on this video. Thanks for watching.